What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is episode two, or um, I don't know. This is more like a reaction video thing, like a, a typical um, episode. I woke up this morning, and I see on Twitter that a lot of guys are talking about the uh, the Flow Radio episode with Kyle Dake and Jordan Burroughs, and I just wanted to give my instant uh, reactions to that. Um, I love it. I love I love this banter that goes on. I'm a big MMA fan. We're starting to see this more and more. Uh, I think my guy Conor McGregor started it where, well, I guess it goes back even further than that to like Chael and whatnot. But um, I think um, he, Conor McGregor brought it more towards like the forefront of everything. And Ben Askren too, who we're going to get to in the show. But I loved it. I loved the back and forth that they had. But I do think that in the beginning there, it was thrown. I think it shouldn't have went about that the way that it was. I think that every all parties that were involved – should have been alerted about this. And uh, I think we would have had a much more fair argument between both sides or all parties when you, I don't, I truly believe that Piles didn't know about this. And I truly believe that Jordan Burroughs didn't know about this. And uh, you can kind of tell whenever they, whenever kind of, you know, it's the, it's the flow guys right here. It's Ben Askren up here and then Jordan Burroughs in here. And then they, you know, Jordan Burroughs gets talking and then in slides Kyle Dake, which makes for great, I'll give I'll give credit to Ben Askren, who apparently he's the one who set this up. It makes for great entertainment for us. I loved it personally, but in order to have like a completely fair argument, everybody has to be. You got to know because I think Jordan Burroughs was walking into a landmine here, and quite frankly, I think he won by just being you know, like kind of calm and collective the whole time. But he kind of you know he walks into a landmine, he gets thrown off like all of a sudden. Hey, you think it's just going to be you that's going to be giving all your points, and all of a sudden in walks Kyle Dake, which. I also do think that, you know, Askin has a good point that uh, you shouldn't just have, you know, the one guy on given his his takes and then the other guy can't come on and defend himself. So uh, kind of a point there for Askin for doing that. Also, I think that this is kind of I don't I don't want to say this is what the sport needs, but, you know, we're not exactly doing you know, we're not like the, we don't do the best numbers compared to other sports. And a lot of people don't care. I don't really care. But if you want to grow the sport, these are the things that you got to do. You got to try to get people excited. You got to create storylines, which I think is what you know, a really good thing that Dana White has done uh, with the UFC is creating, you know, rivalries and whatnot. And that's what we love. We love to see it. Um, that's why we love watching um, Iowa and Oklahoma State. That's why we love watching um, or like why, you know, we have the rivalries, Penn State, Ohio State, Iowa State, Iowa. We love, we love uh, this kind of stuff. So if, if I, you know, one kudos to Askren for making it happen I think he. I don't think it ever would have happened if he did alert everybody. I think they'd be like, "No, no, we're not doing that. That's not you know the way our sport rolls." So it's kind of you know he kind of had to play dirty to to get it to happen. It happened, and uh, here's some of my thoughts. Um, which also I want to go back. If you kind of watch when Date kind of slides in here, you can kind of see JB kind of be like, "Okay," and then you watch Piles. Piles is kind of like. His body language is just like, oh, man. You could tell, like, they talked about it afterwards. Piles told Ben Askren not to do this, and then and then it happens. And so Piles is like, he's a professional. He, he kept his cool. He was just kind of like, okay, well, because he was, I think, I believe that he was the guy prior to this kind of um, on JB's side. So he knew he was going to have to kind of go battle with JB on, or Jordan Burroughs, whatever you want to call him, uh, in this argument. But let's get into the argument itself. There's a couple things that kind of stood out to me. I didn't. I ended up. I just watched the the argument side. I didn't watch the rest of the episode. I just what, as soon as they were done, I kind of stopped. So if they kind of touch on anything here, uh, that's my apologies. I should have watched the whole video, but I wanted to get this thing out. Um, there are a couple big things that that I wanted to get into, and uh, the main thing is when you're doing arguments. When you go back and forth, you know, if you watch any sort of debates online or anything, there's got to be a mediator. And I think because Piles wasn't ready, there really wasn't any sort of mediator in this. So the, they would just kind of go on and on and on. And the, the whole point of this whole thing was supposed to be uh, whatever year for Dake versus uh, 2011 JB. So they were supposed to just stay in that. It wasn't supposed to be – We're not. We, I don't think they were supposed to hype up – you know, the, the trials for next year or anything like that. So they kept going off on these tangents and I, and I wanted them to just kept, I, they should, it, it made for good television, of course, but they should have kept bringing it back to the actual topic at hand. It, it almost felt like some sort of like political debate where they, you know, they ask one question and then 
10 minutes later, we're talking about something that doesn't even matter. And, uh, but then again, they weren't, you know, nobody were the only person that was in on all of this was Ben Askren. And I think he loved it. I think his whole thing on this was like, get entertainment. He he's at the end, he, you know, I kind of watched the, uh, the very beginning of after they left. And he's like, I brought you guys the best episode of FRL ever, which it could be true. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I think that if there was more uh, structure, we could have probably got a better result. But I think strictly entertainment purposes, I thought it was fun. Uh, and also, I don't, I don't know who like is producing all that stuff, but I'm pretty sure that you can mute people. So at the end there, whenever they had, they were going to give Jordan Burroughs 60 seconds and Kyle Dake 60 seconds. Kyle Dake started again chirping. Jordan Burroughs in the middle of his points when he's supposed to just be for him for 60 seconds, mute the guy, just mute him. There's a mute button for a reason. Like we want to hear his points. And then, you know, he just keeps talking and talking and talking, which will bring me up to a point later in the show that, uh, why I think he was kind of doing this. Um, let's see another thing. Kyle Dake was, you know, I think it was piles who jumped in here at one point and said that there's some Jordan Burroughs will never have, as good of a win as David Taylor, as uh, Kyle Dake did over David Taylor, which I think is true. Jordan Burroughs kind of uh, said that's not true. He said he had Andrew Howe, which I think we all, Andrew Howe is great, but David Taylor, you know, he's one of the all time greats. And, uh, but one thing that I didn't, that I thought was insane to me was Kyle Dake trying to downplay Andrew Howe. And then uh, it's, it's like, no, that is a great win. And, Jordan Burroughs later in the show brought up all of his, um, I think he said he had five different finalists or five different champs that he had beat over time. So um, I don't know. You can't, you can't compare stuff like that. You can't compare different eras and different greats and whatnot. And then like at the end of the show, they were talking about uh, the point differentials and, and, and Jordan Burroughs was talking about how many points that he scored compared to Kyle Dakes. And that's another thing that you can't really, you can't compare when they do it, when they do like any sort of science experiments or whatnot. And I hate, I'm not a big science guy it was my worst subject in school, but I do know this. I do know that whenever you do some sort of study, you have to have two different, you know, you know, study a and study B and they both have to have the same, you know, comparables. So you can't really do that when you have, when, you know, different opponents, you can't compare the point differentials and whatnot because it's just different people. Um, Another thing with, with Dake was in the beginning there, Jordan Burroughs was started bringing up some of his freestyle results, which to Dake's credit there, that's not what the argument was. The argument was, you know, their two respective best years in folk style and who would win. And Jordan Burroughs was kind of bringing up some of his freestyle results. And to Dake's credit, it, that shouldn't matter. That's not what the argument's about here. So he was bringing it up then, and then and the Dake kind of shut him down, saying, no, that's not that's – not, that's a totally different thing. And then later on, when Jordan Burroughs was talking about his best wins, Dake continues to go on and say, well, what was their, well, how many world titles did they win? That's literally, you're, now you're just picking, you're just trying to argue any point that you can. And uh, I think that kind of shows to me that this whole thing really for Dake wasn't, I think Jordan Burroughs definitely, I think Jordan Burroughs came on this show so that he could, tell people you know so he could just you know he's like i have the time let's argue it's fun and everything and i think dake did not come on the show for that i think dake came on the show to try to get in to play some mental warfare with jordan burroughs i think he was trying to get in his head a little bit and i don't know if it really worked it's kind of hard to tell just because jordan burroughs was kind of like you know sat there pretty calm and collective regardless of what dake was saying about him uh changing his posture a little bit but those little things like that and I, and I love people who talk crap. Like, a lot of my favorite fighters are the guys who talk crap. But you got to be good at it. You got to be good at it. And uh, I think that that when he kept bringing that up, like, why are you changing postures? Why are you changing postures? I think he was like, I'm just going to try to get in this guy's head and just keep trying to, just keep trying to you know, poke him and che- keep trying to poke him because um, that's how it came off to me. And, and the fact that he wouldn't let him finish his points, that was one thing I was like, dude, just let him, let's let, for the argument's sake, let him finish his points. And, and I think that he was just trying to like, I don't think he really came on there to argue. I think he tried to play, you know, the, the mental aspect. I think that he was just going in there like, okay, I don't really care. This is a hypothetical situation. I'm just trying to get, you know, under his skin. If I can get under his skin a little bit and get a little bit of mental aspect going on, um, I think that would that was like a, a win for him, but I think for the actual argument's sake, I think Jordan Burroughs won the argument by just you know 
it's almost like on the Price is Right, whenever somebody bets a dollar just to play it safe, I think Jordan Burroughs kind of did that. He was just kind of like, I'm just going to let this guy talk and, and let everybody in the comment section tear him apart for keep you know for the way that he's, I don't want to say behaving, but uh, the way that he's kind of acting on the show, which maybe it's not an act. I don't know the guy personally. Maybe that's how he is. Maybe um, he's always like that. I don't know. Um, but for the sake of the actual argument, I think Jordan Burroughs kind of won the argument thing. And I think that Kyle Dink just kind of went on here to to get under JB's skin. And we'll see if it works or not. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're a year away from that. Um, another thing that I thought was interesting that I think kind of, I think all parties kind of uh, agreed on this, that when Jordan Burroughs was talking about, uh, you know, the whole reason that they're changing to like the final X thing is because Kyle Dake was whining about that. I do. Th I think that might've got under his skin a little bit. And I think this whole thing, I don't really know how I stand on this because um, I'm, a big, I'm a big UFC fan. And, uh, you know, when you, when you see fights where there's, you know, the, you know, okay, we had John Jones, right? We had John Jones and he was fighting Dominic Reyes. And a lot of people thought Dominic Reyes won that fight. And uh, you had people saying, like, Dominic, Re Dominic Reyes won. He should have been the winner, uh, which we all know John Jones ended up winning that by decision. But people were like, I think, I think you know, it, it could have went to Dominic Reyes. And I kind of, I kind of have this interesting uh, point where if, you, if you're going to fight one of the goats, you know, one of the greatest of all times, you got to have to take it from him. You can't let it just go to the judges because you're not going to win. And, uh, you know, there's this long argument of whether that's right or not. Should, the, should like, the GOAT or whatever, you know, kind of get, like, a, a fa be a favorite or should he have some sort of uh, advantage or not? Or should it just be, like, strictly off of the points and whatnot? I kind of go back and forth. But I think this ties into this because if you're going to beat Jordan Burroughs, you got to take it from him, you know? And um, I don't think it's necessarily that fair that, you know, one guy gets to rest all day and then one guy has to wrestle all day and then go on and wrestle this guy who's rest, who's rested all day. But at the same time, you got to take it from him. And, and Jordan Burroughs is right. He earned that right. And uh, if he goes and beats him sometime, you're going to go, you know, you're going to get that right the next year. And I, and I don't know if you're going to be complaining about it then. Um, so I don't know. I don't know exactly how I feel about that, but I do, I do think – you know, I think to get the best wrestler on your team, you probably have to make it for, for team USA. You probably have to make it as fair as possible. And, you know, both guys have to have equal rest. But at the same time, what's that say about you? What's that say about how much of a dog you are? If you go and wrestle all day, this guy's been wrestling, you go and beat him. It's like, dude, you freaking, that's your spot. You earn that. Um, I don't know. That's going to be interesting. I'll tell you what, we're going to get, I think uh, we're going to get a lot of views on the, uh, on uh, those guys wrestling next year in what twenty twenty one or whatever, and uh, who knows? Maybe maybe more guys will come onto this, uh, go onto that show and, and argue with each other, or come on here or whatever. I'll let anybody argue about anything on here, and um, I loved watching it. I loved watching it. I don't. I'm not sure if Kyle Dake earned any fans by this, and uh, but I don't think he cares. I think if he goes on and, and beats Jordan Burroughs and and people talk about you know bring up that episode it, it it'll pay off for him in the long run uh it'll be interesting to see i'm excited to see it uh that's all i have for today i just want to give my instant reaction on that um thanks for everybody who watched the last episode we had a lot of good feedback um you can follow us on i think i made an instagram last night so it's at, at stalemate show and uh all lowercase and the youtube channel make sure you like comment subscribe on all that i hate saying that but uh do it. The more subscribers we get, you know, the more it'll be easier, the easier it'll be for people to find our videos and whatnot. Um, I got the lighting fixed. I know last time that the one camera was a little bit dark last time. So I brought all my lighting out so we get, should have good lighting and hopefully this all works out. Thanks for tuning in everybody.